Seminoles put on a blocking performance for the ages with a school record in the Chris Poole era, 28 blocks as the Seminoles upset 12th ranked North Carolina in five. The block was huge. It, um, you know, we're a physical team. Our block has been off part of the time this season, but when it's on, obviously it, it generates a lot of points and it forces the opponent to have to do different things offensively than maybe what they normally want to do. So that, that I feel like that certainly helped set the tone during the match. I think it was huge for us. I mean, obviously 28 blocks, that's amazing. So we were huge and solid on the blocks and uh, great on defense and it really helped us with the win. We get so much energy off of blocks and the fact that there were so many, like it just kept us going the whole time. Well, yeah, we had to win the fifth set. Uh, we're, we're looking for that ring, and uh, we want to get it. So the fifth set, we won. Fantastic job. It was extremely important. You know, we wanted to carry the momentum from the third into the fourth. We didn't. They really, they really came into the fourth and and did a great job of being able to get the momentum back. But our girls stepped up. We told them this is it. You know, if you want to play for an ACC championship, you've got to go through North Carolina right now because they're at the top of the conference along with Duke. So it gave us a great opportunity to beat a good team, and you know the girls stepped up very well in that fifth game. I mean, we're at home, we have our crowd behind us, so I think that really just gave us the kick that we needed to be able to come back and you know make a few runs and t take the match and win. I think we really did. We did a good job of coming out strong um, at first, and uh, then we just kept the lead the whole time. North Carolina's a very good team. You don't go through this far deep in the season. You don't go into November and only have lost one match so far. So we know they're very good. We had to come out. We know that it's really do or die for us right now. If we want a chance to win the ACC, we need to be able to win the rest of our matches, basically. So we've got to step up in this kind of situation, and they did that. It was really important. You know, they only had one loss in the ACC, so that's huge for us. And now they're both. Now they have two, just like us. So we're right back in it, and uh, we can control our own destiny now. So it's very exciting, and we're just ready for the rest of the season. Another tough test awaits the Knolls on Sunday afternoon at 1 p.m. as they take on North Carolina State right here in Tully Gym. That'll wrap up things for now. Lane Hurt, Seminoles.com.